Hey friends, welcome back to another recipe video. I am very excited about this recipe I'm going to share with you today. Not only because it is very delicious and very functional, but also because it's very simple in its ingredients. And I think it's gonna be a really useful recipe for a lot of people and a lot of different diets. The base of the recipe is only two ingredients and they're both animal-based. And so this recipe could be considered carnivore. It could also be used if you're doing the BBBE challenge, bacon, butter, beef and eggs challenge. It's very low in fat and very high in protein. So it is great for lean days or protein sparing modified fast days. But then you could also do all kinds of various fillings and use these on a higher fat day as well. So these two here are the base recipe and you can see they're nice and um, foldable and floppy. They don't seem to fall apart super easily. Um, they do store really well in the fridge. So I had some in the fridge overnight and then I pulled them out in the morning and they were pretty firm, but they didn't crack. And I put them in the microwave for like five to 10 seconds and they were nice and soft and pliable again. I did of course play with variations to the base recipe by adding a few different ingredients and I will go over those and the pros and cons of each of those at the end of the video. I'm gonna do a small batch recipe to show you here in the video and it will either make three uh, wraps this size, these are kind of like taco, soft taco size, or it can make two wraps a little bit bigger, large taco size, and these would be good for like a small burrito. If you had a really big like crepe pan where you could make a big one, one recipe would make like an enormous wrap that you could use for like a big chipotle burrito. So the base two ingredients for this recipe are beef gelatin and egg whites. I got the idea to try out the beef gelatin when I started using gelatin as a replacement for xanthan gum. Gelatin is often used as a replacement for xanthan gum in gluten-free recipes, so I decided to try it out and I have been loving the addition of gelatin to a lot of my different baked goods. And I remembered that the egg life wraps that everybody loves um, are made with egg whites and xanthan gum, and I was wondering if I could make some kind of a knockoff egg life wrap, but use gelatin instead and keep it completely animal based. First thing I'm gonna do is turn on my griddle. I have it set at 375 and I'm using this because it is nonstick. I typically use stainless steel pans on my stove and I did do a test batch of these on my stainless steel pan and they didn't stick terribly. So it wasn't bad as long as the pan was oiled really well, but the nonstick definitely does make it easier. While that's heating up, I'm gonna separate three eggs and I'll save the egg yolks for something else. I recommend lemon curd for putting inside these crepes or wraps. I put the egg whites into my glass uh, measuring cup because I wanted to see exactly how much it was for those of you that use um, cartoned egg whites because I think those would work just as well. And let me see here. It's not quite up to half a cup. It's just a hair below. So like a quarter cup plus three tablespoons would be my guess. Now I'm gonna add one tablespoon of gelatin powder and that's about 10 grams. And I'm just gonna whisk this until it's completely combined and it'll start getting a little bit frothy. You could also use an immersion blender here and it would mix up really fast. I gotta say the consistency at this point is not super appealing, but that is what it's supposed to look like. You do wanna have some kind of oil on the pan um, so it won't stick. And I like to just brush with some ghee, and that's a great choice if you're doing carnivore or if you're on the BBBE plan, but you could also just spray it with a cooking spray as well. My griddle is preheated, so I'm gonna just brush a little bit of the ghee on here. Doesn't need to be a lot. I'm gonna do the three small crepe version so I'm going to do about a third of the batter on my griddle here. I'm just going to use a silicone spatula to kind of spread it out and get it into a nice circle. You don't have to make these paper thin. I was doing that at first when I first started making them and I found that that was just too thin. You just want to get it about 
five to six inches across, I would guess. And maybe an eighth of an inch thick. Then I'm gonna do the same thing here on the other side. Still got some chunks of the gelatin in there. And that's how I've cooked them before and it never really translates to the finished wrap. You never notice, like I never notice the chunks in there, but sometimes they're just stubborn and don't want to um, dissolve in there. You should cook these about two minutes per side. They cook pretty quickly and you'll see that the edge will start lifting up from the side. That's a sign that it's getting close to ready to flip. And you do want it to start getting a little bit of color on the bottom. This one's about ready to flip. Just gonna do it fast. That's a nice amount of color on there. That's about what you want. If it's a lot lighter, it'll make the um, wrap not hold up as well just because it's not cooked as much. And this one's looking about ready to flip. This one's looking done. Just gonna spread this oil around again before I put the next one on. I put the last bit of batter here. So I did want to mention that I tried this recipe with whole eggs as well, and it did work out just fine. I got a nice wrap that was very usable. I did two whole eggs and then the one tablespoon of the gelatin powder, and that worked very well. The only thing is that it really tasted like um, scrambled eggs. And so it'd be great for like a breakfast wrap or something like that where you want the flavor of scrambled eggs. Yolks are typically more eggy tasting than the whites. And so it just gave more of that eggy flavor to the wrap, but it did work. And that is all done. A bunch of crepes ready to go. So my current favorite thing to make with these that's so simple is just cinnamon sugar crepes. And if it's a lean day, I skip the ghee, but if it's a regular higher fat day, I brush with some ghee. Of course, you could also use butter, melted butter. And then I sprinkle with some cinnamon allulose mixture. I use my Trader Joe's allulose stevia blend, mix that with a little bit of cinnamon and sprinkle it on there and then just roll it up. And these are just super easy to eat and a really nice high protein and yummy snack. Um, and they don't taste like you're eating eggs necessarily. Now you're not gonna fool anybody because it's obvious that they are made out of egg whites, but they don't just taste like you're eating scrambled eggs. And of course, adding anything sweet like the cinnamon in there is gonna make it taste more like a dessert than like a plate of eggs. So I think this recipe is the most similar to crepes. They just will work really, really well anywhere that a crepe would be used. They can be used as like a tortilla substitute or a taco substitute, but they're very different um, from, you know, corn tortillas or from wheat tortillas. They don't have starch in them. They're softer and more pliable. Uh, they really are more similar to a thin pancake than to a really starchy tortilla. So some other ideas for sweet fillings for the crepes. Um, Nutella is very popular on crepes, like Nutella and bananas and strawberries. Of course, there are plenty of um, keto, more keto options than Nutella that's very high in sugar, but you could spread some keto Nutella spread on there with some sliced strawberries and roll it up. That would be really good. Also lemon curd, of course, and then whipped cream on anything would be delicious. Any kind of a berry compote or a low carb berry jam would be really good. A little sprinkle of powdered sugar would just make it amazing. Okay, now to talk about the few variations that I've tried, and there's all kinds of things that you could add and try and see how it works out. Um, these ones here were made with a little bit of acacia fiber. So I did the exact same recipe. All I did was add about a teaspoon of acacia fiber in there to the batter and it worked pretty well. I like the end result. I didn't think it was different enough from the original to justify the addition of the fiber carbs from the acacia. 
um, but it's something you can play with. One thing about the egg white alone with just the gelatin is that it's very moist. That's just how egg whites are. And so the acacia kind of soaks up a little bit of that moisture. So you get kind of a drier end product and it's not bad at all. I thought the acacia was a success. Now this one was kind of interesting. I added power flour, which is basically the egg white bread dried out, like cut into croutons, dried in the oven, and then ground up into flour. And it's been named protein power flour. And I put in a tablespoon of protein power flour into the recipe. And what I got was a really nice pancake. The coloring on it was really nice because my power flour had the allulose in it because I put the allulose in my bread. And so it browned more than the other ones. And the flavor is really good. So this made a really excellent crepe as well. I think if I were making a breakfast for you know, guests or something, I would probably do the power flower version because I thought it just looked really nice and it had a really good flavor. And then of course it's gonna go great with any of the, um, you know, sweet fillings if you're doing sweet crepes for breakfast. And so it was a really, really good version. I was very happy with it. Now I'm gonna try my hand at making a sandwich wrap with um, these two larger ones. These look so yummy. I'm gonna put on a little bit of this avocado oil uh, balsamic vinaigrette. There's just one carb per two tablespoons, so it's a pretty good choice. Just a little drizzle. Oh, that was too much. Oh, well. So I got some turkey and roast beef, tomatoes, lettuce, red onion, and... Um, Oh, Kalamata olives. This looks super yummy. I think it's easier just to eat it like a taco rather than a burrito just because these are so small. I could have filled it like halfway and then rolled it up, but I like lots of fillings. And the wrap is, you know, just a vehicle to get the fillings in. So anyways, that looks like a pretty dang good lunch right there. I am excited about this. Oops. So those are my keto carnivore crepe slash egg wraps. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the recipe. Just as a teaser, I have also been playing with making these wraps into crackers and chips, and they're super good. Really, really good. So I will be sharing that in an upcoming video really soon. I hope you guys are all doing great, and I will see you again in another video. I'm enjoying the fruits of my labors and I just wanted to show you how well this is holding together um, even though I've already eaten half of it.